Yo, DD Mod Passion just changed the game with these pallets. Yo, what's going on everybody? DJ Goham here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to new mods for Farming Simulator 19. Today I've got 13 mods for you. For all platforms, we got five new and six updates. And for PC and Mac, we've got two new, but... Maybe only one. We'll find out if you have it or not. Let's check it out. First up today, we have Carl Farms Case IH AFS Connect Magnum. This is a brand new 2020 Case IH AFS Connect Magnum. And you better believe we're going to be swapping out the case that we've got on Stone Valley for this one. This right here, to my knowledge, is the first tractor unhinged. <laughs> and uh, yep, the one thing in the middle with trips. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think this is the first one that we've got in the game with triples on the back or front for that matter. It doesn't have triples on the front, unfortunately. Got tools though. Man, that looks good. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And we got big Midas floaters and we've got black ribs. Oh my. This is, it's everything that you want. It's literally everything that you want. Oh, and did I mention 54 wheel configurations? Yep. And we're going to take a look at all of them. So let's jump in. Let's go into vehicles. Let's go into large tractors. And in here, we're going to find it. Now, you may be saying to yourself, DJ, don't we already have a Case IH Magnum? We do. And it's amazing. The Magnum US series right here. This just adds a few extra things and updates the model. Let's jump in. Let's check it out. So main color, we've got the Case IH Red. We do have black and we've got silver. I love the silver so much. I think it looks so good. We're just going to stick with the red today, but you do have that black option if you want it. Rim color, same thing here. Rim color, got the gray. Wait, where am I at? There we are. <laughs> you got the gray, got the black if you want. The black looks so good. And then white, of course. Never seen white on a uh, case, but it does look good. We're going to just stick with the gray so that you guys can see everything like normal. Design color. This is actually going to be the interior color stuff. So all that stitching on the uh, chair right there, you go with a gray, black, red, whatever you want. As long as you like it, you can have it if it's those three colors. Wheel brands, we have Trelleborg. We also have Michelin. Midas and back to Trelleborg. Uh, sit down because we got a lot to talk about. Wheel setups, standard wheels, wheel weights, wide tires, wides with weights, twin wheels all the way around, rear twins. We also have 30 inch row crop, 36 inch rows, 30s with weights, 36s with weights, 30s with rear duels, 36s rear duels, 36s rear duels, weight, or 30 rear dual weight, 36 rear dual weight. <gasps> 30s all the way around, 36s all the way around in duels, plus weights for the 30 and the 36. Crawler track in the rear, standard crawler track, mind you. Um, then we have crawler track with with a narrow in the front. And then we have three meters set out wide. I want this so bad and I don't know why, it just looks awesome. Then we have the same thing with a road track in the back. Then with duels in the front, and then we've got that 30 inch with the road track with the massive tracks and then quad track oh, and then quad track wide quad track road track oh man and then we're done <laughs> and it's the same story of michelin man we got we got more we've got other stuff in here too standards wheel weights wides wides with weights Rear twins, twins all the way around, 30s, 36s, 30s with weights, 36s with weights, 30 with duels, 36s rear duels, 30 rear duels weight, 36 rear duel weight, 30s all the way around, 36s all the way around, add weights to both of those. Oh yeah. And then I believe these are the 30s. Yeah, these are the 30s with rear trips. Yeah yeah yep that's 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 <laughs> this is this tractor is just yelling murica right out i love it you've also got crawler track with this you've got the crawler track with the uh wide tires in the front you've also got the three meter spread with the uh, michelin as well road track you also or, uh road track duels in the front road track regular you also have road track wides all the way around and then back to standard again goodness gracious thank god <laughs> my tires tires in that bad Floaters, floaters with weights. That's all you get right there. These are massive as well. I'm not sure. I can't confirm this, but these look like the largest floater tires that I've seen on a tractor. Absolutely amazing. You could add weights to them as well. Beacon lights, none. You could do the left beacon, right beacon, both together. You also have the left style too. So it's going to go from like a rounded 
to more of a squared off. Maybe LED, something like that. Of course, you can go none as well. Fenders, we have the front fender, which is standard. Front and rear, so it adds an extension around the rear. You're probably going to want to do that on pretty much everything. Um, rear only, and then no fenders at all, which is kind of cool. Attachers, we have standard, and we have the quick hitch. Um, people ask, there's not a whole lot of difference here. Just grabs it. Yep. <laughs> Windows, we have regular. We also have light tint, dark tint, and regular. I'm a, I am prefer the regular, so that's just me. Whatever you guys like, go for it. We got some engine setups here as well. The, we have the Magnum 250. It's going to give you 320 horsepower. The 280, 350 horsepower. 310, 380 horsepower. The 340 is going to give you 410 horsepower. The 380 is going to give you 435 horsepower. And we've added a 400. That's right. A Case Magnum 400. We have it now. And it's going to give you 451 horsepower absolutely amazing and we're not even done yet front attachments we have none you have front what or the uh front attachment itself which i find awesome i'm so excited to see one of these i know it's not american i don't care i want it and then you have weight rack then you can add 600 1200 or 1800 kilogram or actually 1800 pound weights i'm not sure what that is in kilograms uh and then uh flashers standard flashers which you can see right here which can be unfolded or you could do the European flashers or just none if you want. I prefer the none look, but that's just me. Um, whatever you guys like, you can have them. That's great. Extra lights as well. No or yes. Now, as far as I'm able to see, it only adds extra lights in the front. But that's so cool. And that's it. <laughs> that's everything. It's 31 miles an hour. Uh, it's going to cost you somewhere around 300 and or up anywhere from 295 up to about $400,000. Multiple different options shown here. This is truly <laughs> something special. And I've spent five and a half minutes talking about it. Carl Farms, you killed it right here. You killed it. Boom. Speaking of killing it, sit back and relax because I've got something that's going to blow your mind. By DD Mod Patch, we have the container pallets. Now, reading from online says this container pallets can be used to transport eggs, can also transport milk, and it can transport wool when it is attached. Only when it is attached. Um, attached to the place and container of the pallet in the loading or unloading area and the containers will be loaded and or unloaded with egg, milk, and wool according to the availability of the area. It will be automatic, which is great. These are super cheap as well. Price is $7,800. Capacities, you could do 19,200 eggs, which is eight normal pallets. You've also got five, um, let's see, 5,760 liters of milk, which really isn't a whole lot, but it's in these smaller containers. Um, or you've got 8,000 liters of wool or eight pallets. So that is cool right there. You know what though? Let's jump in and check these out because I want to show you these in the store. Let's go into tools and we're going to go to animals. Now we're not going to have to go very far. Here it is right here. 7,800 bucks for the container pallets. Uh, ignore the stuff that's at the bottom. It's different for each one. And that's totally cool. You're going to need the larger IT runner for this. So don't use the smaller trailer. Use the larger or the larger. Yeah, the larger trailer. Main color, anything you want whatever you like. I'm going to change it to pink so you can see what has changed. So you've got all that right there. If you guys are running a case farm, run it on case. If you guys are running a cloth farm, run it on cloth. Whatever you guys like, you can change it that. I believe that Onyx is the default. I love Onyx. Onyx looks great. Boom. Right here you go. Configuration, eggs, milk, and wool. You're not going to see the difference here, so just keep that in mind. You're not going to see a difference However, there is a difference. There's a big difference. If we jump out, there you go. Now, let's say, for example, we've got this one right here. Wool pallet, right? What I'm going to do is I'm just going to drop a wool pallet. As a matter of fact, I'm going to drop two of them. Let's pop over to this guy. We're going to come forward. And literally, when we pull up beside it, it just loads up automatically. I didn't even do anything. It just loaded automatically. How cool is that? You don't have to do anything. Another cool thing, it's got straps. Now, <laughs> the straps aren't, they don't do anything, um, but it's super cool. Of course, you can't grab these because they're part of the uh, part of the truck. That's awesome. Speaking of, the truck is just a piece that I'm using. It's just the IT runner piece on the back. I'm using the, uh, the Hulk Plus Plus. 
It, this and the Warrior Plus Plus are amazing IT runner trailers, and I love them. But here's another thing. We'll pull up right here. multi sell point. Pull forward just a little bit where it gets to the point. And you can see money is going up, and the wool, which you can see at the bottom right, is going down. Dude. <laughs> it's going slow, to be fair, but boom. And we just made 2700 bucks off of all that wool and i didn't even have to do anything i just pulled up right beside it didn't click any buttons and and that's it that's it <laughs> it works the exact same way uh with the eggs as well now we'll say with the milk i'm not quite a, i'm not 100 sure if you need to pick the milk up with um with like pressing down on the left stick if you're using a controller um, or if it is automatic, I just don't know that it's one or the other. <laughs> so, and I know that the milk will fill up at the multi-filling station. Um, very likely these will as well. What do you guys think of these? This, I don't know if you don't understand quite yet what they do. They do all the work for you. You never have to pick eggs up again. You never have to move wool pallets with a front loader ever again. Milk, well, we've got tankers for that. But it's so cool that it's an option. I mean, look at that. It, it, you're transporting milk. It's not just a trailer that's holding milk anymore. It's that. This is, just, it's absolutely incredible that the DD Mod Passions have been able to do this. And I am very, very thankful. Also, thank you to the friendship that I've got with DD Mod Passion as well. Been able to message you guys quite a bit when mods come out, if I have questions or anything like that. DD Mod Passion have a whole lot more coming out very soon. You're going to want to watch this if you're a console player. You guys ready for another cool mod? <laughs> I hope you are because we've got one. This is the Kuhn VB2190 with attacher to the Ursus Z586. Ba-boom, right here. So with this pack, we get the Kuhn. We get the Ursus. I believe this is an Ursus. Yep, that's an Ursus. You get these. And what it is, is the baler allows you to hook up to the bell wrapper. Now... I have questions about this. Can you hook up a trailer to this? Like an auto load trailer and automatically pull around your uh, your your stuff. Now, it might be a little bit more difficult, but because we've got so many attachments and stuff, you might find yourself doing some pretty cool stuff with this. So let's, um, I'm just gonna show you what it's meant for today. And then maybe in a video down the road, we'll talk about what can be done. Let's check it out. Let's go to tools and let's go into bailing technology. And then here's where we're gonna find it. And if you have the Kuhn VB2190 installed, it's going to be right before that. I have that installed, so I could show you guys. Of course, I have all the bailing technology stuff installed, so we're still rocking through. Here you go right here. You see at the top left-hand corner, it's got that, that white, looks like a baler with something pulled behind it, something like that. That's what these machines are for. Now, can you use these separate? Absolutely. You don't need to use them together. They're not going to do anything special if they're not together. If that makes any sense to you guys, these aren't special alone. I mean, you've got narrow tires, so you've got a cool tire option here. Do we have that with this one right here? No, we don't. Okay, so they have added a tire option, which is cool. Otherwise, it's 4,000 liter bells, 68 horsepower required, 12 miles an hour working speed. That's exactly what the other one is. Then we have the Ursus. Again, nothing special here. It's got color choices, but that's it. One thing, another thing with this, if, uh, I don't know if you guys can see kind of where the wrap is straight down from that. Usually there's a hinge back here that will hinge out all the way. This will not hinge out all the way so that like your tractor can get by the bale or something like that. This will stay straight. So keep that in mind. Foil color, of course, white, black, pink, or green. But here we've got them together. You back up to it just like a trailer, hook it up be ready to go we got a case i figured you know we got some case stuff today let's use some case stuff let's turn on some sound so we can see what's going on let's turn the hud on what i'm gonna do we're gonna lower the baler and we're gonna turn it on like normal and i don't have to do anything oh unfold bell wrapper get it <laughs> sorry and uh and now we're just gonna rock and roll 12 miles an hour i do have the auto round bell unloader mod turned on because i'm on pc so we'll see if that works with this or affects it in any way it seems to be working so that's good so it's going to drop that and when you pull forward it's going to grab that bale and start wrapping it hopefully it wraps it quickly because we're almost done with the next bale um okay so we've dropped that 
and I'm going to stop the <laughs> stop it right now the bell should unload by itself so you can see is it cool wow that's taking a long time there we go oh I still have to do that don't I unload the bell so <laughs> I'm not sure if this takes less time or not um but it's cool it's very cool i'm sure somebody will make a mod of this thing that just like unwraps the bell super mega fast i wonder if we just keep going <laughs> will it will it hang on to the bell <laughs> this isn't gonna turn out well at all hold on to the bell don't lose it oh you lost the bell come on let's see how much other stuff we can do so is it cool yes is it going to replace the the uh Vernland fast bail definitely not but i don't know there's, there's something cool about this granted you have to remember also like i'm running like a 10 meter swath with uh 100 of everything on this on this grass field but this is neat this is really really neat <laughs> just dragging it along i imagine a lot of you guys are probably running quite long or quite yeah, and it's gone so if you want to wrap half your bells this is the way to do it. <laughs> it's not bad. It's a cool mod. I'm, to be fair, I'm, I'm pushing this mod to its limit right now. Uh, turns, very easy to do. Back and forth, all good. Not bad at all. This is a cool mod, man. Uh, it's by uh, uh, Camillo's 0397. This is neat. I like this. This is cool. I'm sure you guys out there will be able to do some even cooler stuff. If you do some cool stuff with this, send me a picture on Facebook. Next up, also by DD Mod Bashing, we have the Crisetto Pack. If you're on PC, if you're on console, this is gonna be known as the Lizard C Pack. Either way, it is the same. So with this one, this contains a bell trailer or multiple bell trailers rather for manual or automatic bell transport support, different bell sizes and positions. These models are two, three, and four axle different trailer configurations and the colors are customizable rim color we've got silver and everything else multiple colors here <laughs> design colors all kinds of stuff through here as well wheel setups rim setups all cover yes or no i mean <laughs> dd mod passion doesn't mess around um with this the trailer is ideal for the transport of round bells and square bells but it is also possible to transport vehicles and objects because these will have straps so you can strap down vehicles and objects that have that script um with the auto load version the straps are not hooked but the bells remain blocked uh by the script which is cool uh to use the straps unload the bells on the trailer and hook the straps down just like you normally would on an auto load trailer automatic bell loading supports round bells from 1.1 meters all the way up to 1.8 meters not in a stack round bells from 1.1 to 1.3 meters in a stack normal and large square barrels are supported as well and we get three different versions we get the pc14082 which is going to hold or has, uh, two axles right here it says old 38 bells we've also got the crusado pc240850 this also holds uh 30 38 bells yeah 38 bells but this right here is a uh, tandem trailer just like this one is but it's got an extra axle in the back more room to hold stuff yeah, yeah. and then finally we have the pc third or 320 oh 320 yeah 320 970 this guy right here is going to hold 46 bells and it is much much larger three axles in the back one in the front it's awesome uh these will will uh, automatically detect what's going on so you can see through here there's no way to add you know say like round bell square bell because these will do round bells and square bells. It automatically detects what's going on. And your last new mod for all platforms today is gonna be the Stara ASA Laser CR DCR 13. Now you may be saying, DJ, don't we already have literally two other mods in game that have that same name? Yep, but this one doesn't see. <laughs> uh, this is just a cultivator with a plow function. So you say with a plow, you create fields, next sowing, and create new fields. So this is a cultivator, as it were, a direct drill, without the drill on top you can see it's been completely removed and now it's a plow so it's a 220 horsepower required 4.7 meter plow at nine miles per hour however i always say if you're gonna get a plow you're gonna get a small one regardless of what kind of farming you're running there's only one that you should be getting 
this guy right here making our way into mod updates for all platforms today first we have pure big valley farm by tom x 55 just going to be changed log 1.1 fix animals not showing up in multiplayer and in farm manager mode visual fixes we also have a sheep trigger fix on a second yard and reduce filled prices we've got an update to the Paveli pack also by dd mod passion today's dd's day is what i'm talking about change log 1.1.6 improve the configurations we've got an update to the adorante pack can you guess who made this one <laughs> dd mod passion change log 1.4.2 improve the configurations again an update to the lizard car trailer guess who made this one nope Kasten 18. <laughs> Change log 1.1 added support wheel. And an update to the Coon Interactive Sprayers update. Change log 1.8. Fix small issues. Chromat is used as a color configuration now. Wide tires is configuration for the Metris 4102 and configuration for hoses for the manure system from Wobster. You're going to need the fertilizer tanks by Vertex Design and the HS 10.5 sprayer support by Holger Sandstock to uh, run this at least in the way that you would want to run this. Now, they've also mentioned that, uh, please, if you're on PC or uh, or Mac, not console players, be on console, we can ignore this part. PC and Mac players, please delete your other versions of this mod and uh, put this one in because it's a brand new one. I believe uh, 1.6 uh, or 1.7 rather, um, that's the one that came in with this. We're in 1.8 now. So if you had that, go ahead, go in, type in Coon, Interac Coon Interactive Sprayers or just Coon and find Coon Interactive Sprayers in your mod folder. Delete that, install this one, you're good to go. And your last mod update for all platforms today is going to be the Sapphire MES 400. Change log 1.003, new mod description version, and added dynamic hoses. Making our way into new mods for PC and Mac players today. The first one I know you don't have, this is Auto Repair by Bobster82. Love that name this auto repair allows all vehicles that are owned and tools that are owned to be repaired at midnight so it uh, it makes auto repair at midnight for all stuff and like that so if you own it and it needs to be repaired it will repair it for you automatically um i think this paired with the animal mod that we got yesterday together you're gonna run out of money but <laughs> together that's gonna make life a whole lot easier in your last mod today something i bet you probably already have the john deere 6 elm series this is officially out now for pc players before it was only officially out for console players and pc players had to go to the john deere website to get this now if you didn't do that before you can get it now this is the john deere 6m series well guys that is going to be it for today i hope you've enjoyed if you did make sure you drop a like on the video get subscribed to the channel join the go ham fam make sure you turn your notification bells on as well so that you never miss daily farming simulator videos here on the channel with all being said i hope you have a great day we will see you later peace